All right, here we are at the strawberry patch. Been picking quite a few lately. Let's come a little closer. Haven't had as many slugs, but still if they get too close to the ground, um, they will get eaten. I don't know what happened to that one. That's weird. What I did was I tried to prop them up a little bit on some pine straw so that the bugs wouldn't have, you know, easy access to them. And that's been doing, that's been doing me a favor. I don't know what this, what is this? But, I mean, when you just look in here, they're, these are medium size, they're not huge. Some of them are, though. Let's go around here. There's more altar here. The second round kind of popped out more towards the edges, but there's still some in the middle. Oh, yeah, there's some in the middle there, too. They're just everywhere. And look, there's one actually hanging. That's cool. I like when they hang. I want to do rows next time so that they have somewhere to go. But you can see here how I just prop these up. Please go away. Ah, please go away. Go. So, definitely less getting eaten up. I'm not sure what that sun damage is all about. It looks like it almost looked like water damage. Oh, here's one that got eaten. This one must have been close to the ground. I'm going to go through here and pick some more. Oh, I see some in the middle. It's sitting pretty close to the ground. They're so cute. They're tiny and sweet. Here's another example of propping them up like this. I can see that one already has this blight on it. We'll go ahead and remove that. I always take anything that's not doing well off so the plant can give energy to, you know, the rest of it. So funny, I was in the garden and of course you have your best life epiphanies in the garden and I was looking at one of these strawberry plants, like for example this one, and right now it's supposed to be doing, it's supposed to be doing berries, right? Look at all those berries. Um, so it's supposed to be focusing on all of these delicious berries that it's making, but it's sending out these runners and those are dragging its energy down. So when you think about life, when you're trying to do something, You've got to take away the suckers, take away the things that are distracting you, the things that are not important right now, so that you can focus on what is important. Making that fruit, you know, that's what you're born to do. So whatever is not serving you in that way, then it's going to take away your energy, just like these strawberries. Like this right here, no good. Taking away energy. So, I always think about awesome stuff like that in the garden and try to apply it to my life. Look at these though. I'm going to go pick some more. I'm almost out of film space as usual. Um, but yeah, things are going well in here. And every day we check and pick because we don't want to miss. So if you're thinking about strawberries, just do it. You can do this. I started with five, six plants. And here they are. Those two little plants on the left there. My first two strawberry plants. And after two years, I have a whole patch. So just do it guys. Whoa, here's a carrot. Soon to be carrot seeds. Wow. 
and some dill. I love the dill when it goes to seed. Oh, there's a caterpillar in there and a grasshopper. <laughs> Two very different animals just hanging out on that dill plant. That looks like a monarch caterpillar maybe. So many life lessons learned in the garden. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing awesome. Thank you so much for watching my videos and happy growing, guys. All right, so let's talk about today's harvest. Um, not a whole lot and the saddest thing is this is the most beautiful one and I was so excited and come to find out it's got some nibbles in it. But I'm gonna cut that part off and probably freeze it. Most of mine go to smoothies or if you're into making jam, you can freeze them. Um, here's my other problem, look at this. There's actually a beetle in there. Gross, so there's one of my predators. I haven't found any slugs, but I found a beetle in there. And then here's the other issue I'm working with is this, let me focus. This, what looks like sun bleaching, and then it just starts to you know, die right there. So anybody know what that is, let me know. So yeah, just a small harvest, but I've got a ton in the freezer, so whether you use it for smoothies or jam, I mean, I've been getting, we've been getting almost a whole one of these every day, so still totally worth it. You can get grandma to make some jam.